Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 27 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to make custom path shape inside of InDesign. So InDesign isn't really the tool that I'm going to use for design but sometimes when you have to make a quick design then you want to uh, make something over here uh, right here. So for drawing tools like for InDesign what you have is you got the um, uh, line tool right here so you can simply drag a line and you can see that I have a line and if you were to hold shift you can draw straight lines just like this. I cannot see anything because like the uh, shapes over here it is made but there's no stroke selected over here so let me just select black and increase the width size right here so you can see that there's the stroke and if you were to hold shift you can see that you can draw a straight line uh, horizontally or vertically and even diagonally just like this so let me just select it all of it and then just select uh, uh, black stroke right here, all uh, right, black, black stroke, and then increase the size over here, uh, like this, just like this, all right. So you can also in alternatively select the stroke right here and press OK, so you can see that there's the stroke. So now, whenever you draw, the stroke actually comes up just like that. So this is one way of drawing a shape, and the other shapes that you can see is the rectangular tool, uh, of course, and there's the uh, elliptical tool and there's the uh, polygonal tool. So these are the default shapes that can be drawn. Another tool uh, over here is the pen tool. So pen tool is used to create quick shapes. For example, if I want to create a triangle, just click, click and click. You can see that I can create a triangle. All right. So let me just click. Just click to create a triangle. You can even make cur curving shapes. For example, if I want to uh, make something curved, so just click click and drag and you can see that there's the curb right here. So you can see you can click and drag the curb to make custom shape over here and click here at the end to close the shape. You can also have an open shape or a closed shape over here. So let me just remove all of these now. Let me just select all and delete them and let me show you how the pen tool works. So just click uh, to make a straight line. All right, there you go. And you can also have open shapes like these. And if you want a curve, you just click click and drag and you see that you have a curve over there and if you were to click again you can see that you have the curve again so if you were to click it and without dragging you'll have the curve if there's a curve over here you can click uh, you, you can press enter to get out of the shape so you can click and drag another one and if you want a pointed shape over here just alt click over here here at this section alt click over here and you can see that and um, this handle actually disappears so now you can click and drag and you can see that you have custom shape just like this so you can also, also alternatively go over here and convert add anchor point tool. So once you do that, you can actually add points over here as you can see. And then you can subtract point by uh, doing the subtraction. So you click this, this actually subtract the point. And over here, convert directional point tool. Uh, what it does is you can actually click and drag the shapes just like this and you can uh, see this or you can drag it and you can see that uh, these shapes are actually being dragged out. If you were to hold control on your keyboard then you can actually move the points just like this uh, separately so you can see that we can uh, control click and you can move the points you click and drag it actually changes the shape you hold alt and uh, you change the handle you can see that only one handle changes and so forth so you have a lot of uh, control over here and this takes a lot of practice so I suggest you that uh, you take a practice of the pen tool right here um, and for complex shapes I'm always going to go into illustrator anyways so Another cool tool about this is that you have something called the Pathfinder tool and that is located over here on Windows and you can see that there's Pathfinder. All right, let me go to Pathfinder right here. So for that, I'm going to go to Windows and I'm going to go to Object and Layout and you can see that there's Pathfinder over here. So over here, you can see that I can open and close path. So I can select path right here. So if I were to uh, click this, it'll actually close path and this will open the path just like that all right so this will open the path let me just select the path right there and uh, select this out uh, and I'm, I can close the path right here and I can open the path as well so you can see that if I were to go into uh, the uh, pen tool convert pen tool points and you can see that I got this point right here so I can actually delete this point as well and you can see that it opens the path uh, you can also merge shapes together so you can select this and merge them together so if you were to go to merge and you can see that you can merge shapes together you can also uh, have another shapes all together select both of them and do subtract you can see that the top shape subtracts the bottom shape you can also have intersections so you can actually drag it in and then drag in the shapes just like this and you can do intersection over there 
And then what you can do is you can select the shape over here and then you, might, you can omit the shape as well. And this actually does the bottom shape. Uh, so if I were to fill this with a color, for example, you can see that the uh, colors are uh, filled up. So you can select this out uh, and then select, uh, let me just say, select this out and then go over here and then uh, fill it up with a color over here. Just press OK. And then what you can do is you can select the shape and this will actually uh, uh, cut out from the bottom shape over here. If you want to convert shape, just click this and you can see that the shape actually gets converted into various other shape that you may want to use. So you can see that this can convert into line and so forth. All right. So uh, this is how uh, you can actually uh, use Pathfinder and create custom shapes uh, inside of Adobe InDesign. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.